feels like we can like settle like I feel like we can finally like lay out the mat like a little bit more semi like long term which means like two or three days <laughs> having a bit of a rest day right Delilah so I guess this is home for the night I'm gonna cut my hair real quick. My mom is probably so proud of me right now. All right, well, John Luke has given himself the profesh haircut. I really need to clean it. It's giving me anxiety, it's cluttery. So that's what I'm gonna do. Mess. This is pretty much our storage. This is where everything is just kind of thrown in. If you don't know where to put it, it most likely just gets thrown in here. You gonna go shower? Yeah, I'm gonna go take a, a desert bath. By the way, that uh, haircut was brought to you by this son. You ready to go check out the desert? The issue we've been having is that there is no grass on the west coast. Delilah is very adamant about peeing in grass. The first Toyota motorhome other than our own that I've seen since we've been out here. <laughs> Decided to take a little hike, check out the rest of the BLM. Uh, there's bike and ATV trails. Uh, I'm just gonna check it out, see what it looks like. I'm gonna sit for a little bit, but after that I start to lose my mind. Super early turned into 8.30. Welcome to Arches National Park. These rock formations date as far back as 65 million years ago. We learned that water shapes this environment more than any other force, carving out arches and unique shapes. Although these rocks are eroding, being able to experience them in our lifetime is a gem and we highly recommend you check them out for yourself.
Midwest blessed by the destructive power of a bomb cyclone. Bomb cyclone is a bomb cyclone. Bomb cyclone. Dumping torrential rain, packing powerful winds, and prompting flash flooding as well as evacuations. calling it the single strongest storm to ever hit the west coast. This storm raged all night long. Sleeping was basically impossible with the rain beating against our aluminum roof and the wind violently rocking our RV back and forth. It honestly felt like it could have flipped. There was nothing we could do but just wait and pray that we'd make it out safe. It was like something out of a movie. Honestly, we didn't even film that much because we were genuinely scared. I'm done with Moab. No more. It's very, uh, very annoying. It's a very annoying place to be right now. The winds here have been the most insane winds I've ever experienced. Um, it feels like hurricane winds, and it's very hard to find a place to sleep because... All the land is wet. If you don't have 4x4, four four, you could get stuck easy. So it's not like we're trying to risk getting stuck because there's like no cell service. We just had the craziest night last night and we just thought we'll just stay here. We don't want to risk driving right now. Let's just relax and like treat ourselves. Maybe get some service and binge watch shows. Do you have service? You don't either? We have no service. Very annoying. The storm and the wild winds of Moab had really beat us down mentally, and we honestly just wanted to find a place to park where we could sleep without feeling like our rig was going to flip over. So we exchanged intense winds for freezing temperatures. This was one of our favorite parks, known for his red rock hoodoo formations. We're doing sunrise. Wait. I think it feels like you're in a different planet. Different rock formations in every direction, and trees growing in the strangest places. These canyons really show you how wild and free nature is. This is insane. Like I'm, I'm pretty speechless. I don't even know how this is a part of the earth. Best thing I've seen yet, Bryce Canyon. I think I would agree. I love learning about history and it was such a beautiful place. I mean, how could you not be invested in how this became a thing? But apparently it was Ebenezer and Mary Bryce. They were like serial homesteaders and they would go place to place and just like building up the community. And they pioneered 12 locations in Utah and Arizona. So it was established like 1928, it was named after them. They built their cabin in the amphitheater to harvest timber and locals began calling it Bryce Canyon. 
Being out of your comfort zone is tough, and when the lows come, man are they low, and hard to get through. But the thing is, every day comes with a new opportunity, a new chance to experience the highest and most amazing moments of life. It's a risk, but is that not what life's all about? Stay tuned for our next video. We're headed south to Arizona. We're gonna go see the Grand Canyon, Horseshoe Bend, and we might actually make some friends on the road for once. And Dan and Mackenzie were like, mm, this is all right. <laughs> but wait till we bust out the chili tomorrow. And we'll see you there. So to everybody who saw our last video um, with Delilah, little update, she does not have cancer, thank God. Um, she's a very lucky puppy. And uh, I just wanna thank you uh, for sharing the post or if you contributed it really really was a game changer for us we got so much love and we really didn't expect it so we love you and thank you so much Delilah appreciates it thanks guys